Ooh, hey guys, and welcome back to uh, some more building in Redstone. And this episode, I am going to uh, teach you guys how to build a automatic farm. Now, this farm is kind of broken since I need to go under just to see how I built it. I think I have a clear view, but uh, I leaked the water through and all the redstone circuiting is broken. So, yeah. Anyway, this is this should be everything we need. So let me just set the weather. And yeah, let's start. Now, this can be as wide as you want. I'm just gonna do five wide um to start. Now it's like, oh, okay, uh yeah, let's build a farm. So I don't oop, wrong thing. So, I don't want any water to get out. Oh. Uh, let me just do that, because, I don't know, this is going to bug me. Um, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, two, three. I only need, um, about that much space, I believe, for, uh, water and everything. Because what I'm going to be doing here is, um, this will all be covered in like that. And, in this sheet, I can do is just grass blocks along here. Now this can be whatever material you want, I guess. Well, and I'm only putting grass blocks here because I didn't increase the farm size. But what would happen is... You're gonna have water along here, and then you got these blocks. But these blocks, which I believe would be right here, it's gonna go under. Are going to be supported by pistons. Now I'm just gonna break the blocks themselves, and just because pistons are such a pain to build, or place down, I should say, I am going to do that. So now we've got this supported by pistons, okay? And the only thing we need is to power the pistons. So I'm going to tear this place down, <laughs> just built it, it's going down. Bye bye. <laughs> um. What I'm going to do is just going to go over here, and I think that, yup, that is the last one. So then we'll go back to, and you can build this deeper underground if you like. Seems like more of something you do underground. But, it's happening this, right here, because I'm also going to need it to go right there. But I am basically going to be needing to get all these pistons to go up around the same time. And so that is what I am working on now. Now normally I just do like uh, boop, boop, but that doesn't work. So thank you for that Mojang. Um, whoever did the redstone, I thank you. Um, well, I, it is how redstone works and I'm just, I don't like redstone. So now, for this, I believe I can, right, I skip the first one, okay then. So I'm just gonna skip that, that can die, and there we go. So now all of these should lift when given a redstone pulse. And I'm just going to test this out, see if they have a, enough pulse. And they do! Which is perfect. So now, what I'm just going to do is <laughs> fix this up, just so I can show you guys the building of the farm, which does require um, all this to be covered. I think that's fine. Definitely need this. And boom, boom. And 
bright. So I'm not going to build this um, very big. Just This is just a demonstration. I don't want to get too crazy. But don't let me just uh, I'll show you guys what this thing looks like again. So you pull the switch, and there you go. Now I'm just going to wall that right there, and I'll go out two more. And just simply... There we go, like this. Now we can go get some water, which I did not get at the beginning, and place it in here. Okay. There you go. So now, when we pull that, it lets the water go. Which I will show you why that's important in a minute. Now we're going to need our hoe. Er, let's just grab a diamond one. And for some reason, I can't find seeds and food items. It may be in this. I don't know. So I'm just going to look up seeds. And I know bone meal is in materials. Oh, seeds is too. So just simply what I'm going to show you guys is I'm just going to hoe all this area. Now the, you could probably build a much less expensive and complicated farm, but this is the, the design that I designed myself, so it's the one I'm sticking with. Um, yeah. So, you've got your farm, everything's going nice and fine, let me just... Yeah, everything's going nice and fine. Now, if you guys didn't know already, when water goes across crops, it breaks the crops, and will push them like normal items. Now, I have a automatic harvesting thing, because what you can do is you can harvest these manually and just catch up with them, but I, uh, I set up a automatic harvest on this one, and I can, uh, I can do it again. So, let's just grab our sticky pistol. Or get rid of our stick piston and put you down. And yes, guys, we are going to be using the infamous hopper. The very complicated, for some reason, um, Minecraft device. And we're going to need to do this dig down one and do that. Now, also, what we've got to do is I mean, we've got to have the chest. So, uh, that's not. Is that sticking? I can't tell. Um, let's do this, and this. Now, guys, what I'm going to do is I just am going to barricade this. And this, and I don't want any water escaping, so I'm going to do that. Now, guys, if... Um, happens, I believe. I can just, I'm just i just going to clean this up a little. Boom. And do this. And you know, you can drop down, or you can go to the side, and yeah, um, go to those chests. So now, let me just place the hopper down to make sure it works, and does it, does it really? Just place a grass block in there, and the grass block is going to stay. Um, great. So I have to shift. Are you not going to work, Hopper? That Hopper does not look like it's going to work for us, which is a shame. These ones will. Well, it was working. Let me just break these and, um... Actually, I had you here, so, and then I had you there, so if that doesn't work, boohoo. Now, guys, so I'm sorry about the hoppers are very confusing. You know what? No. At the moment of truth, our automatic farm, just to show you guys that it works, pull the switch. There it goes. That, that's why you need walls around this. 
Now, we go. Nothing's going in there. Because, like, that was glitching out. There you go, guys. These empty chests now have stuff in them. I think if I just dive down here, I'll get a couple. No, uh, nothing actually dropped down there. But there you go, guys. A automatic farm. So that is all for this episode. Um, if this helped you in any way or you enjoyed, you can hit la that like button. And if you want to stay up to date for more redstone tutorials, you you can uh, subscribe. And uh, like I said, if you haven't checked out my other series on my channel, my multiplayer survival and my solo survival, I highly recommend it. As we will be building some structures in this world that either will be built or have been built on that world anyway guys um i hope you enjoyed and i will see you next time bye bye